All right, we're taking a look at a PGE outage map, and you can see that there are 4,420 total customers without power, uh, kind of all over the Portland metro area right now. And that PGE isn't alone. Pacific Power also has uh, roughly 2,823 customers without power. We have to assume that is weather related. And an update we've been saying all morning that Timberline was opening today. They are not opening today. Today. According to their website, in red letters, uh, they said that due to high winds, mm -hmm. that they can't run their their lifts, and mm -hmm. so they are not going to open today mm -hmm. until tomorrow. Plenty of snow, but those high winds can be really dangerous. Well, and that's what we've been talking about in the weather center. And we talked with Meadows. They said they need two days to get everything groomed, and with the rain that's coming tonight we're a little concerned about that snow and its level and how much will be there tomorrow because the rain kicks in right around 10 o'clock tonight. A lot to be watching. I say keep those tabs open if you're planning on trying to head up there as we see the conditions change. Right now, you can actually see some blue sky. Look at that Rivermark camera. Things have calmed down. We have st still a few raindrops on the camera lens, but it has backed off. We figured by the time we hit 8 o'clock, we would see things really calming down. Down, and we have for the month of November, we did not make average. We had just a little more than a quarter inch on Thursday, which took us up to that 5.27, not quite to the 5.45. We almost made it, we just missed it by a smidge. Now we're seeing, oh, it's even been updated again. This is getting updated very quickly. So we now have more than about an inch and a quarter. We've got a little update on that. Look at that, almost eight tenths of an inch inch just today. That's since midnight. Here's what I was telling you about. That rain's backing off. We're seeing the snow right here. That's the blue along the Cascades. But watch as we progress through the day. This is this afternoon. More snow. And then you get to 9 o'clock. You see a little snow. Things have backed off. And then now we're into tomorrow morning around 4 a.m. And it's all rain. And it stays rain all along the Cascades through 10 a.m. tomorrow. And then things start to back off as we get to tomorrow afternoon. But you'll notice it's all green along the Cascades once we get through that 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock hour tonight. So be prepared for that. Then we get into Monday afternoon, more green and rain. Quite a bit of that expected, or the green is the rain, I should say, all the way through Tuesday. We're continuing to see a chance for showers through that extended forecast. Rain is something that we obviously track very closely, especially when we have the potential for flooding. We look at multiple of the models here, and we see the heaviest one. This is the European model, almost always the heaviest, and the graph there is almost always the lightest. And that's what we look at for our rain totals when we're doing a forecast for you. We have that flood watch that is in place until Tuesday from the Cascades all the way out to the coast, especially watching local streams and rivers. This does make it for us a first alert weather day from the Cascades to the coast. That is for the heavy rain. We're expecting those winds to kick back in and everybody is getting rain some more than others obviously we're looking at an inch to two and a half inches through the valley updated seven day forecast is coming up here in a minute Deb